You're now tuned into me, 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 million dollars worth of game presented by Jack Pocket. This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by Jack Pocket. Feeling lucky? <laughs> well, get ready to try your luck with Jack Pocket, America's number one lottery app. With Jack Pocket, you can order Powerball and Mega Million tickets right here on your phone. Just whip your phone out. Oh, whip, 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 whip. You can play right there on your phone. They even have official state lottery games every day. There's up to millions up for grab right there on your phone. Is that easy? America's number one lottery app is right there on your phone. Is right there for you. New customers can get a free lottery ticket by using code Gilly. So download it right now. Whip it out. Come on. Come on. Download it. Punch in code Gilly and you get a chance to win some money. That's code Gilly for a free Powerball or Mega Millions ticket. Don't wait. Download Jack Pocket now for your chance to win. Good luck. And don't forget to put that code Gilly in. Right. You're now tuned into me, 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 me. Million dollars worth of yes. game. Listen, man, I was Amari coach. He will. He called me coach. Coach. <laughs> we had game. Coach Wallo. Listen, we, we was out there balling. It was crazy. I was riding the bench. It was crazy. I was going to play. But I messed my ACL up. We was out in Pittsburgh. We had a great time. I mean, my man, we went out there to support Ham. It was just a great, you know, just yeah, a great, H. great adventure. But, you know, you got a lot of stuff going on. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people know you for, you know, how they know you. But you had a career before they got introduced to you on a large scale. How did, how, you know, where was you at in your younger life when you said, I want to get into the theater? I want to be an actor. I want to get into theater. And I, you also poet. It, I said it first before, I, I feel like, Wallow, I must have been, uh, what's up, good people? I want to say that first. Mm -hmm. Thank you, all, all the fans, for all the love. Thank mm -hmm. you, the culture, for giving love to Wallow and my brother, Gilly. Uh, we still praying for this brother. Thank you, sir. Lost his son. So thank you all, culture, first and foremost. For me, while I'm gonna make myself four or five years old, I brought up acting to moms. I grew up 20 minutes from here, Decatur, Georgia. Yeah. And she said, I looked and there's some classes at the South of Cal Mall. And in my mind, bro, and y'all probably can relate to this being from North Philly, in my mind, acting was synonymous with Hollywood. Okay. Uh -huh. Location-wise included. Uh -huh. So I'm like, South DeKalb? That, that don't fit the dream of right. Hollywood. So it just was athletics. From that point on, it was uh -huh. baseball. Soccer was too easy when you're young and you just fast. That was kind of like boring. Uh -huh. Went into baseball, really dominated. Most of my time in terms of sports, dominantly were with baseball and then with football. And then obviously I got a scholarship to play at University of Georgia. Played high school basketball for a stint as well. So it became really, really that. But I realized something while I always had a penchant for storytelling. And you said I was a poet. And so constantly writing, probably started writing at 11 years old, like really getting thoughts out. And I found myself going from Decatur, all black Decatur, to white Northwest Atlanta, Marist Academy. I'm probably one of eight, maybe one of 12 black people at the whole school, all white. And after I got my feet, wet and I was comfortable being at the school academically feeling like I could compete enough but coming back home to an all black neighborhood having to navigate that life yeah and you think about that as the genesis for me and then think about as you stated Wallow the world was introduced to me via a character where I'm juggling like at the genesis or the alpha or the beginning I was juggling living between two different worlds and so there was a moment where sports became such a I, I guess such a consistent thing that I was. You got good in sports. I was pretty good, bro. What was, was your favorite sport? Well, he went to Georgia. What was your favorite? One? At that point, it probably was football, but pops always says I was a better baseball player. What position? Oh my, of why football? everybody abandoned? People always abandoned baseball, man. My pop, especially Black American men. And it's guaranteed money. And, you, and the longest career. Pops was like, I, I feel like you was a better baseball player, but I became dominant in football, really good. What position? Got so many defensive back and running back. Mm. Both ways in high school. Never really left field. Kickoff return, punt return, all special teams. So you was Travis Hunter before Travis Hunter. Before, ah, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a stink, bro. <laughs> Shout outs to Trav. Shout outs to Prime, too. Yeah. You really Shout do out some to Prime. Mm -hmm. So ultimately, what happened was that penchant that I speak about, about storytelling and having some kind of like gravitas toward it. I would ask these theater teachers at the school, I would yeah. say, can I? 
understudy. And they would go, no, because you're all your time is on a, on a field, whether it was baseball or, or football. And so, but they would let me look in. So I would come and I would watch theater and I go off to the University of Georgia. I end up minoring in theater, majored in broadcast journalism. You brought up journalism yeah. earlier. Because it's a great thing, folks, that Wallow and Gilly get to do something in a space where most of us in life are told to be able to execute or get to where they got. You must have proper training to get there. So they are anomalies. And there are books written about men like these two who have become what they become without having to have the formal training for that specificity of what they have become as journalists, which is what you guys are. For me, because they put me in a formal setting of being trained, that's a preparatory, college preparatory school, I just started to understand, my brothers, that I was so much more than just this athlete. Mm -hmm. And when you feel like you're walking around in life knowing that's your secret, but also you're a black American kid, you go back to the neighborhood where everybody's black, you know that they're gonna be like, you changing on me? So there's a natural guilt that we all have when we feel like we're starting to, I guess, be separated from the rest of the crowd. Mm -hmm. And so I, I might have taken the acting thing, even if I would sneak a couple peeks at whatever the, the play was for that year while I was in high school, I might have had this moment where I was stuffing away. By the time I got to college, I'm in my last year, Champ Bailey is at Georgia at this point. Mm. Terrell Davis has been drafted. Mm. Hines Ward is getting down. Robert Edwards is All y'all on the team Everybody's together. on the same team. Mm. Uh, Ron crazy. Bailey, Champ's brother, everybody, same team. Mm. That's a crazy team. At this point, uh, Travis Stroud, who ended up going to lead for a minute as well, ran Godfrey, we had a crazy team. Um, I started Kirby Smart, as y'all know, yeah. he was on the team. Yeah. Corey Johnson, we had a crazy team. I started to think to myself, I should have a backup plan. And I think if you have a backup plan, you back up. Mm -hmm. But what if the backup plan, this was my thought, what if the backup plan was the first plan? Mm -hmm. What if that's the first plan? Right. And so ultimately the backup plan was absolutely the first plan, and y'all know how it goes. It'd be God's plan. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you this, though. And he wanted would me you, to do would it. Would you a natural off-the-top actor? Like, you just... Yeah, I feel, like, feel like I must be. But I don't know what that is, though. I'm going to show you what it is. You tell me what it is. I'm shooting the scene. I'm just going to see. Right, I, I think we're I'm an actor myself. We're in it. We're in it. So what's the All scene? Right. The scene is... You miss the St. Patrick. I'm coming to you. I want to I want to date your daughter. You don't like me. I want to marry you. I'm coming to okay, tell you cool. that. Okay, Got it. All right, cool. this is your security right here. Got it. I'm security? I'm yeah, you the security. I, come I like that he made you security. You, you security. I make come in. Make my job easy. I come. I come in. I walk. All right. The door closed. No, 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 no. The door closed. So I'm in interior, right? I'm in interior right now. All right. Interior. How you doing, Mr. Uh, St. Patrick? I know, you know, there's been a lot of things that I've done that you might don't like me. Dating your daughter. And uh, I think I want to I, I want to marry your daughter. I really love her. Um. Uh, She's special to me, and I'm, I'm willing to work on to get it right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change my ways, the things you might don't like about me, but I really love your daughter. She's special. She makes me feel good. I just want to, I'm, I'm asking your permission to marry her. You want me to run the bath with the boss? He's already running. <laughs> <laughs> and scene. God damn. I think she's already running. Damn, the fuck? I can't hold it, man. He did this already run. I'm done. What are you gonna do to me? <laughs> do your nail with a goddamn uh, uh, hair dryer. <laughs> 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 you gonna be some right goddamn toast. <laughs> I'm gonna just go forward in there, but I can't hold it, man. <laughs> He's just already running. That's some acting. <laughs> That's a bit problem. <laughs> He's already running. <laughs> to be able to catch that and just not let you. I'm thinking you gonna keep talking. He said no. It's already running. <laughs> I'm in trouble. I'm done. <laughs> but no. But no. How do you like in this game? You know, so many people know you for that. Um, it's, just, it's, just, it's just so <laughs> deep. It's just, I'm fucked up about that. Like, have you ever you had a chance? You fucked up about fancy ones with this shit. No, listen. Have you, ever had a chance, have you ever had a time where you be out here chilling, just minding your business, and somebody just be uh, antagonizing you or getting on your nerves, and you got to turn into ghosts real quick before they say some ghost <laughs> shit? Every day. It's every day you tell them a fuck. It's somebody every day. And you just be like, you must don't like living. <laughs> You know, what you know what happened? Like that. You know what happened the other night? Gilly, there was a cat, and I, I think the cat was a cool cat. We was in we was in D.C. and um, <coughs> I actually really hope he watches this 
I, I know he will because it's, it's you and Gilly. So he'll absolutely watch it. I got out of the car. This is CBC, right? Congratulations. Did y'all go? Were y'all in DC? No, we was uh, working. Y'all never not working. But y'all could you y'all could have been doing y'all could have had Biden. He, he just had y'all could have had Kamala and Biden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had books when I was running around on tour and all Yeah, you got stuff. a new book that came out, Armed and Dangerous. Shout out to um, the number one book in the country. Armed with good intentions, yeah. So what's the name of the book? Armed with, with good, good intentions. intentions. That I love that. Especially knowing your history. Yes. So I get out of the car and uh with with You in DC. Yep. And I got a gilly with me. I'm making you security gilly. Okay. So I got a gilly with me who's from DC. And the rest of my guys, and he's he's screaming, go, let it go. But it's not. But it, but it's but it's so it's so it's so loud. You you trying to chill though. You just trying to you trying it to was, go ahead and support. Yeah, what's that going was on? it. That was it. Jada, I was trying to support Jada Kiss. Yeah. Jada and the and the locks was on, right? Styles, Ghost, the, the other Ghost, the yeah, other Ghost, the other Ghost. Yeah. I'm just trying to support them. Yeah. So I'm getting in there. They've been friends for years. Jada's always been my bro. I know you and Wallow probably make up a top family, 20 yeah. lyricist, if no, not a no, top yeah. 15 wow. lyricist of top all time. Five. Top wow. five. So Jada's an incredible friend, and I just I hadn't seen him in a while. I just wanted to hug him. Sometimes you just want to get to your cats to hug him. You might literally go, I came to hug you, I'm out. Literally so that they can go. They know how he came. He supported me. That's it. So he's screaming so loud, which is going to, you know. So when I got up there, I said, tell him, tell him, tell him. I got to say, bro, I said, bro, why are you? And he, and he pulled up for it. Wallow, he pulled up, seemingly, he pulled up for the, okay. Yeah. What's up, man? Yeah, he pulled up like, okay, you got lessons from me? He, he was there with it. And, and I said, bro, and, and, then he, and then he went past it, and he went, are you really dead? And, it, and remember, we're, we're but human, bro. So, Wallow, if I'm having a conversation with your cousin about your nephew, who's no longer in the flesh, yeah. he's here, Gilly. Mm -hmm. He's here, Bubba. Mm -hmm. He's just not in the flesh. Mm -hmm. If I go from an event that he and I are having that rap to another event, what's forgotten, bro, is that the actor is never really acting. The, the good actor is not acting. The good actor can't act. The bad actor acts. Mm -hmm. the, the bad actor acts. Mm -hmm. Okay. The good actor becomes. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that you guys reach through the TV or the film and yeah. the cinema and you go, I want that, I like that. Bring that. Mm -hmm. I want him, I know mm -hmm. him, mm -hmm. I, I am him. Mm -hmm. For you, all. You're a little strong right there with the man. <laughs> <laughs> so, when you, so when you feel like you're, you're pulling in particularly your culture, we, we, we started out a black cafeteria table. We all start out at that. So I always want us together, always. Mm -hmm. So I wanted him with me. I went and gave him direct eye contact. I was like, bro, and, and then, but then when you, talk about death. So I had to say it. I said, bro, why are you talking death around me? And, and that's the reference, Wallow. Like, if I'm talking to your cuz about... Yeah, like, why? You, meaning you never know what someone's coming from. Yeah. Maybe I just had a conversation about that. So don't... It's been with Nova and Brave around. Those are my kids, Wallow. They hear people going, yeah. are you dead? Mm -hmm. They hear people go, yo, you dead? It's like people forget. This person's human, and he's probably heard that at that moment for the 7,500 times. Right. All we hear is the same thing that somebody thinks they're saying for the first time. Right. We've already heard it so many times. Right. So I just found the kid cool. I would have never pulled up and tried to say something to him. I understand that it could come off arrogant that you pull up, but it can equal, equally come off arrogant that you just think you can yell my name at right. the top of your lungs. Right. That, that It's the same thing. Right. It's deep. So dude said to me, so then he kind of went there and I said, bro, why are you talking death over me? I asked vulnerably, bro. That's all I said. Checked in with my homies afterwards that was off. They were like, nah, you just asked that. So dude said, uh, you know, fuck around, get your ass beat. He told, he told you that? He told you that. Light went on. What happened? What you tell him? So I walked off before he said it. And so he's saying it with my back turned. Which is the first moment of like, ah, oh, he's a kid. This is crazy. So I turned around and said, what'd you say? My what you say was a loving bridge. What'd you say? It was a loving, it was a loving bridge to let him while I walk across and at least show me that you could look me in my face and say that to me. Mm -hmm. When I said, what'd you say? He turned away and said it. He couldn't look me in my eyes. So I knew I was like, damn, I'm dealing with a soft. 
kid, and, and if he's watching this interview, I'm saying soft and not. I'm not saying it in a negative way. Mm -hmm. I'm saying this is a kid who actually, he's sincere. I knew that he had love for mm -hmm. me. I wasn't confused right. about that from the gate. Right. I knew he had love for me, and I had love for him. But now all of a sudden, he's feeling like I'm sunning him. Mm -hmm. And you know, a lot of the younger generation, they have a right to feel sun, because you got me and Gilly, we were talking about this off script, mm -hmm. off camera, we were talking about how many elders will go at the youth instead of embracing the youth. And whoever has the baton now, or the ball now, or the rock, like, don't do that. They got it. They gonna help us get to the next spot. Mm -hmm. So I'm never that. I'm so about this. That cat was definitely younger than me, because he ain't 50 years old. Yeah. But I play 35 or not, I'm right, truly 5'0". Right. Right. Yeah. I'm 50 years of age, he's not that. So I, it was almost like, my, my what you say was, first of all, don't get it twisted. I can't play that character on accident. <laughs> <laughs> What did you say to him? But what did you do? What was the response? Did you I go just st I stared at him. I just wanted him to come across the road. He didn't. Of course not. He walked the other way. Yeah, yeah. I want to. No, no, let me ask you a question. He walked the other way, but he, but uh, but I want that brother to know I love him, man. Right. Like I wanted to leave him with that. Like, bro, I love you. Don't do that. You can't love me, ghost, and then go. I beat your ass. That's weird. Right, right. right. That's, that's a that's that, a weird uh, moment. <laughs> but. So yeah, well, in, that kid's defense, <laughs> in that kid's defense, <coughs> you played a role that was so good. Do you know how? That he should intimately want a moment with me. Mm -hmm. What he's lacking is the vulnerability to be able to say, I'm gonna wait till he gets on the carpet and then I'm gonna go, you played a role that was so important to me. Bro, you did so much for me. I would have asked the security to let him in. I'd have hung with him all night. That's who I am, Gilly. Yeah. When you, you yell say, out, when you was, yell out, this you're now me. sharing me with everybody. Right, you're right. If you want me intimately and to say to me how much you respect me, why are you yelling it out? Omari, oh, let me let me push it into perspective. Okay, I need it. I need the perspective. Okay. I need to learn. It's Game of Thrones. Okay. It's right here. They were there. Right. They were there. You know what was the next highest watch for thing six years it was power. After Game of Thrones. Yes, sir. It was ghosts. I f around with a see. But ghosts! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what about I see? But but but, but Gilly, if I said, yo, I'm here, bro, I'm here. I you would have you would have gone quiet and you would have gone, yo, I fuck with you, so you man. Yeah. You're killing that shit. What happens for me, Wallow, is I don't talk about the youth negatively. I just am so confused in an adverse way. I so talk about them positively that I'm giving them permission to never be about that thing that you, me, and Gilly and our age group heard for a minute, and it was a season of it, probably like five to 10 years. Yo, no homo, I fucked you. No homo. Why you need to give a right. preemptive right. disclaimer? <laughs> what the hell is that? Right. We, yeah, just we, deal with me, we, man. We weren't raised with no homo. No. So he didn't verbalize that, but that's what you're essentially saying. Mm -hmm. Whereas Gilly would go, like I ain't Brown, I'm just saying. Gilly would have leaned in and go, I'll oh, fuck with, with you. Dog. I'm drunk. Yeah, so that's all he could, he could have gone, yeah. I'm uh, tripping, man, my fault. He didn't do that, he, he went out. here with it. And it, it's, and so there's moments when you ask, it's a great question, Wallo. There's yeah. moments during the day where, where that comes out. And I, and I get it, bro, I give grace to our people. We, we angry, we were born behind the black ball. Mm -hmm. yeah. Black ball is the eight ball, but we Absolutely. born behind the ball the same color as us. Right. I give grace, bro. No, but I get no. to say, yo, what'd you say to me? I get to say that. Yeah. Cause I, nigga, because I he was he was disrespectful. That's disrespectful right. to me. You right. can't love on me and then say I beat your ass. <laughs> I want to ask both of y'all something. Good question for all three of us, man. And then I'm gonna get into more of the business side of of acting. This episode of Me and Oz Worth a Game is brought to you by DraftKings. TD, touchdown, Tutty, taking it to the house, in for six whatever you like to call a touchdown. One thing's for sure, touchdowns matter more at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sportsbook partner of the NFL. On the ground, in the air, from special teams or defense, we don't care how they score them. We want to bet on touchdowns. And DraftKings Sportsbook is delivering. Ready to place your first bet? Try betting on something simple, like picking a player to score a touchdown. Or how many TDs will be in the game. Go to DraftKings Sportsbook app and make your pick. Ready to do your touchdown dance on your own? New DraftKings customers bet $5 and get 200 in bonus bets instantly. So that's bet 
dollars and get two hundred. Look at the math on this: five dollars and two hundred in bonus bets. And all you gotta do is put in promo code Gilly. I'm looking out. Whip out your phone right now. Download the DraftKings app. Put in promo code Gilly. Bet five dollars and get two hundred in bonus bets instantly. What are we waiting on? The crown is yours. Time to put it on. Right, DraftKings. Who would you be? Business? Oh, okay. No. Who would you be? If you had to choose. If you had to choose, all three of y'all. Prince, Michael Jackson, Rick James. I'll be Prince. I just got to get, I got to get, Purple Ring was my thing. Do, so you get, we fighting for one of the three? Let's y'all two got to get I'm just saying, I'll be Prince. You would be Prince because Prince had the leather pants with the ass cheeks out. That don't count because he was Prince. So you going with Prince. I get that. Yeah, that don't count. The cheeks out don't count. I'll be Rick James. No, 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 no. James Brown. Oh, James Brown. No, no, I just said three. I said. I, I said, said you said James Brown. I said no. Me. I Rick, thought you said James no. Brown. If I did, I meant to say Rick. Well, James. you said James Brown, nigga. I'm going no, with James, James Brown. You can't do that. Oh. Now. See, now you, you can't, can't do that. James, you can't, but you can't do that. You can't throw See, Rick in now. You said, I thought you said did Rick. Did he say James Brown or Rick? I said Rick. I think I said Rick. Rick, thank you. I said Rick. So I'm MJ? He said, yeah, because he's done. Yeah, I'm Rick. Now I need I need your best MJ impersonation now. You got it? No, no, you got to make you got to be saying it, make some noises and some shit. You got you to gotta really be an actor. Shut up! <laughs> that, was, that was wild. Okay, okay you. <laughs> Darkness. Do it, bro. No, 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 <laughs> that's what he did. That's that's what Prince did. Why'd you pick Prince? Because Prince was a legend. <laughs> no, they all three are legends. No, Why'd you listen, pick Prince? Because no, he, he, he had the jail twenty instruments, right? He had the jumble with the ass cheeks. No, he did play. His, he played everything. I know he did, but I, I think I like because he was he was to himself. He was so gifted. gifted. So and, and he went against the music industry. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. He went against the music industry. Yeah, he did. So you saying Prince was a rebel? But they all do. No, Michael's a rebel, no. Michael's a rebel. Slick Rick. I mean, Slick Rick. Well, Slick Rick. Shout out to Slick, too. But you got to say Rick James was a rebel. Yeah. If you started out yeah. your impersonation that way. Mm hmm Yeah, the way he started. <laughs> he started hang him. Rick ain't care. But no, no, but no. Like, you know, on another note, I want to know. A lot of people in the, now in the culture is starting to try to understand cinema. The business mm -hmm. side. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, you see Tubi, um, a lot of people is doing anything. The Detroit people, they out there making all them Tubi movies. Mm -hmm. Shout mm -hmm. out to Detroit, they doing it mm -hmm. major on mm -hmm. Tubi. Mm -hmm. And everybody's getting in, they're getting cameras. The camera went from this big to the phone. Yeah, it's true. And you can shoot a, you can shoot a series, you can shoot a film, you can shoot. It's true. Really what is true. the business side of it? Because it seemed like, if you look back, and this is just the whole business side. Mm -hmm. When we look back at Good Times, Jefferson's, What's happening? When we look at all our stuff, a lot of times you hear horror stories of the actors in the pay scale, mm -hmm. lack of ownership, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. wasn't executive producers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The only time I heard somebody that really get it, it was two shows. It was Friends and it was uh, Seinfeld. Seinfeld. We heard about getting a million dollars a show. Friends, they was getting, I think all of them was getting like yeah, that. Yeah. They was getting, you don't hear about So, so, but could, if you're going into it, and sometimes people go into these these roles, and when they go into the roles, they don't be who they become. Say that say that last part again. Some people go into these roles, and before they go into the roles, they don't be who they wind up becoming. They're not. They're not. Through they're not the role. That. They're not. You're, so, saying, you're saying they're not aware of who they are before getting the role. Not they're not aware. They don't become. They they're not when they first enter it. They're not who they become. Yeah, okay. Okay. Through that role. Okay. Through that platform. Okay. Through the and it's like a lot of times they don't have no negotiation. That's right. They don't have no. They, they don't have I see no. Where you're going. They don't. They don't. Residuals don't be there. Like sometimes when I hear about the shows and I hear about the back ends talking to some lawyers, mm -hmm. I be like, what? Mm -hmm. They was only get what? They wasn't mm -hmm. getting no residuals. Because sometimes people got to take the opportunity. The opportunity, mm -hmm. but they sometimes don't. they forget the opportunity once they get to the to, to, to the, the part they become to right. the next level. Yeah, right. correct. So so both, give me the both, game of y'all that was give me the game of how do you, that was nice. How do you approach this? That was some Michael Scotty yeah. 
Is that okay. Idea? How do you how do you approach this? Shit? So, um, if you were at now, you're talking to the other company. You no, 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 no. Game yeah, yeah, yeah. So they had a paperwork, yeah, yeah, for right? For sure, for sure. I said to, uh, <clears throat> I said to many, to 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 many people very close to me that my destination would be producing. Okay. When I said that, I didn't make that acting wouldn't be a part of that destination. Okay. I never made it that it wouldn't be a part of it. I have an understanding that a director, let's say if the director is Phil Jackson, right? The producer is, if, if we go with Chicago, knowing what they made Michael feel like, Michael should have never retired with the Wizards, right? Because a Michael Jeffrey Jordan should be able to retire with Chicago. Chicago. So if Jerry Krause and Reinsdorf and those guys, for example, Wallow, are the producer, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And Phil's the director. And Tex Winters does what he does, the triangle offense, whatever. Those are position coaches, right? But, or, or you know, coordinators, mm -hmm. right? In football, be defensive, offensive coordinator, what have you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Specialist coaches. And the player is us, the actor. That's your point. Yeah. The player is us. I do understand how a Denzel and a, and a Clint Eastwood and, a, and, 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 and all the way down to a, a, a Carrie Washington when she's Olivia Pope on, mm -hmm. on Scandal. She was very surprised I never directed anything on, on, on Power, any episode. That's a, that's a large range. That's Clint, Denzel, Kerry Washington, and all the other, Regina King, all of these incredible people of directorial ability, not just actor ability. I could absolutely understand Nate Parker when he was directing Birth of a Nation and acting in it. Yeah. I can absolutely understand why an actor would feel like, I can go direct. Because every day your interaction is with a director. Mm -hmm. Your interaction is not a daily interaction with that of a producer. Your daily interaction obviously is taking direction. Mm -hmm. Yes. So for me, the approach for any of the young cats, young, young ladies out there, young men out there, particularly black, brown, yellow, red, all of us, same color. In this example, all the same color. The reality is, I'll start with your cousin's point. What Gilly's getting at, Wallow, is but they can't go there yet. Wallow goes, for that. Gilly keeps taking your hand that you keep moving north and he keeps going, they're not there yet. Keeps moving, they're not there yet. The reality is, Wallow, both of y'all are saying the same thing. You must always be in movement forward, even when you're not allowed to be forward yet. Mm -hmm. If you're in movement forward, even when not allowed to be forward, there is almost an expectancy once, to this cousin's point, you get the leverage is the word. Leverage, yeah. I ask Nova and Brave every day. Nova's 12 and November Brave's nine years old. I say, Nova Brave, what do people always fight for? In romantic relationship, in friendship, friendship, relationship, in, in business relationship. Leverage. What, what are mom and papa fighting for that you guys see us actually in fights or arguments over? They go leverage papa. Because I've said it so much while though. I said it so much, Gilly, every day I say it. At some point, because they come home with these stories about school. And particularly, you know the battles amongst young women at times, mm -hmm. right? You got daughters. Mm -hmm. Why don't you got daughters? You got yeah, I got, yeah, I got a daughter, yeah. So when you get to those moments where you are able to talk to all genders, all orientation, all religious belief, creed constitutes the same sort of lesson, which is everybody is fighting for leverage. My leverage at that point, when I have finally earned my keep, to Gilly's point about, but they didn't start at a place where they could demand that. Right. But then they got to that place. Mm -hmm. My leverage is that I kept moving to that place. Yes. So no matter how much, Wallow, they move you back, they almost become, not expected, but they almost become trained. He's gonna go for this. Mm -hmm. She's gonna go for this. Mm -hmm. Team, let's expect it. Mm -hmm. Well, if you play your cards right, which is a different sort of navigating for black people, mm -hmm. But equally, we all had grandparents that said the same thing. Y'all's grandparents in Philly, mine in Savannah, Georgia, while I was raised yeah. in Decatur, Georgia, saying you got to be five times better. Mm -hmm. You got to be five times better. You got to be five times better than your yeah. colleagues who don't look of your skin color. Mm -hmm. So if I'm having to be five times better, Wallo, it's too late in the game, homie, for me to try to move forward if I wasn't moving forward when they were saying stay back. Mm -hmm. 
I still got to be moving forward when they're saying stay back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you got to do it in a way where part of being five times better is knowing code switch, when to say certain things, what rooms to say certain things in, mm -hmm. when not to say certain things, when to be elegant. When to keep around the way, around when the way. To keep it tro when to keep around, around the, the way, way, around the way. When to say to young black people, I am the total antithesis, and I speak equally for a Gilly and a Wallow in saying this, I'm the antithesis of someone who is a pretentious, arrogant natured person doing something so to come off or, do, or, or, or to present myself as better. What I am is someone who wants the cats that are around the way. Wallow, even if we got to keep around the way, around the way, mentality included, that's what you really mean. Yeah. But the, the actual literal cats that we grew up who are still on the block, who might be giving hate to you and Gilly, mm -hmm. even though that's love. Hate is inverted love. Mm -hmm. yeah. They should just cut to the chaser and just drink I love, man. Love. I miss you, man. Please. Just do that. Because yeah. it's, it's they ain't not sleeping or wasting the night not sleeping, thinking about you if they didn't actually have love for you. Right. So if it's a round the way, literally cat that you grew up with, or if it's a round the way mentality, keep a round the way, around the way, word. Or keep it around the way. Keep it a buck. Talk in a way you need to. Make your point. Even if grandma rolling over in her grave going, baby, you could have been a little bit lighter with that. Sometimes grandma's going, no, nah, you got to go. They really went at you. So yeah. the reality is when I say I'm speaking for you to include it, I know that we are in positions that we are in with a major understanding, not a minor, not an average understanding. Mediocrity is not in this example. It's a major, minor, major understanding. I am only doing this so that people who look like me can believe that they too can do it. Yeah. That, that is the only reason. Right. It, it, it's not a separation of state. Mm -hmm. I'm wanting to be next to them as in, no, bro, I can't continue to play ghost till I'm 70 years old. Mm -hmm. I, I understand that it feeds your soul. I get it. But if it feeds your soul, he didn't make me. I made that character. Mm -hmm. So then that means I feed your soul. Mm -hmm. Wait for it. Mm -hmm. Wait for what, Mr. O? Just wait for all the things ahead. Mm -hmm. And by the way, while waiting for it, you might find one of those roles equally appealing to your soul. Mm -hmm. You might go, I waited for it. Mm -hmm. And actually, that one spoke more to who I actually am than the one he played that I used to right. go crazy about. Right. Leveraging is everything. But everything. there's never a moment, Wallow, where people, and you know this, and I love that you threw this live, because it's for the people. There's never a moment that you can't be in movement. You have to be in movement. Mm -hmm. Who would you would have been in, in, in uh, like, who would you would have been, which one of them you would have been in New Edition? That's an awesome been? question, bro. Right now, you got to think, come on, I'm overthinking. I'm not overthinking. And I just saw Ronnie DeVoe the other night. It's not Ronnie. My answer's not Ronnie. I'm, I'm probably Ralph Tresvant meets Bobby Brown. I get Michael Bivens. I get that you probably like, Michael Bivens is a businessman, though, but mm -hmm. I'm an artist. I'm still an artist. So you go, so who figured out business as the artist if Ralph and Bobby are the artist, though? Bobby figured it out. Mm -hmm. Bobby might not have had a level of maturity enough to understand what to do mm -hmm. with the leveraging that he had. Which one of us will be Pookie and who will be G-Money? <laughs> shit. I'd oh, shut up, man. <laughs> You'd be Pookie. <laughs> no, your he wouldn't be Pookie. Thank you. What? So I'd be Pookie? No. <laughs> Oh, you gotta pick. You, gotta, you can't mix it up. There's only two of. There's only two of us in the two slots. I'll be Pookie. No, you're not in it. Pookie. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that's all. I, that's all I need to know. You just go through me and say. But G Money Pookie. was smoking. He was smoking too. Yeah, he was. No, he was all smoking. Yeah, he was all smoking. Who's Pookie. more passionate? You Pookie. or Gilly? I know oh. who is more passionate. That's what I'm gonna ask him. That's Pookie. No. He's Pookie. I am more passionate. No, I'm telling well, you. Let me do you feel like you're more passionate than Wallow? Yeah. No, he's not. Yes, I am. I feel like Wallow's more passionate. I feel like you. I feel like you love life. I feel like this. Let me tell you something. See, Wallow's very passionate because Wallow feels as though a lot of time he was sitting in jail. Twenty he, years, bro. Yeah, he lost a lot of time out here where he could be do doing you, great shit. Do you shit. think that he would be lesser passionate if them twenty were out here? Yes, absolutely. Do you think that? Maybe because because time freedom freedom can deteriorate you. See, the only one, one thing that I had when I freedom went to, can deteriorate you. It can deteriorate you like this. When I had, and let me break this down. I went into penitentiary 17, came out 37. It fortified and it protected my imagination. If I was out here, my imagination would have got deteriorated by life, loss, heartbreak, loss of job, trying to figure out anything street. Interesting. Sh 
I'm telling you. Because, because your brother O works off of imagination. You do, but you not everybody, the average person can't hold okay. it that long. Okay. They can't fortify and protect their imagination. That's a great you, point. You, you know how you, you're 50, That's but a great you, point. you're 50, but you like, I'm ready to do this, do this. Yeah, yeah, some yeah, people yeah, yeah. Is, yeah, yeah, Some yeah, people yeah. is like, I'm 50, I'm going up and go to work. Today. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, I'm not doing that else. That's cool for them. That's it. That's it. Right. But that, I'm going to work all week, it. and then that's me it. and my friends are going to get together. No. We're going to go to a corner bar. And, and by the way, those are the, cat, and those are the cats I love, bro. Now, I love when the blue collar working his ass off my comes guy. up and goes, you're my guy. Oh, I and love And that's it. That. And they cool with that. But let me explain something to you. The reason I asked you about the movie thing, I mean, just the thing, because right now we got a time where these cameras, it's got everybody shooting and they figured it so out. So there's leverage. They, they, they got the so leverage. So there's leverage. And the reason I'm asking that because, all right, for instance, Gil. I remember one time, he got he got this one movie called Blood Brothers. Where's though? It just be snapping out. All, and, and this is important of ownership. It's a movie that he owned. It's on some platform. We gotta be of ownership. It, 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 yeah, it's a movie he owned. It's on some plas- platforms. It's on Tubi but, right but now. It's on Tubi, but it snaps. And he should get these checks. It snaps like a month and a half. It just snap and it just checks to be like, Crazy. They come, they come. So, so, so what I'm saying is, I didn't even ask him because you, you want to get different. I know what he could tell me, but you want to get different outlets and understanding for them because you got people that shoot their stuff, but once they shoot it, they don't know how to license it. Correct. They have it all. They Distrib- have it. Distrib- like, like, distribute it. Like, like, deliver it to the world. You're like, yeah. what is it? Is there an independent distributor that you could put it in and they could just say, we're going to get your stuff everywhere? Sure. What's the name of that? Is it the name of that? Sure, there, there's, By, y'all know Byron Allen, the incredible comedian, you know Byron. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Byron Allen, I know that. By, Byron has for a very long time been that facilitating opportunity. But a lot of people to... don't know how to get to Byron, that's why I'm actually with Absolutely. the platform. Is it a platform? Cause, Cause you ain't gonna get to Byron Allen. No, no, you, you can't. So, so what I'm saying is, what I'm asking You is, mean a technological platform? As yeah, in yeah, uploading yeah. it to- You upload it and it- For <laughs> shit, you YouTube is not crazy. YouTube, not, no, 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 that's not what I'm saying. You got YouTube, but when you go on this phone, you got Hulu, you got Netflix. Okay, you I got, got you. all these different Peacock. You got all these different platforms. There's no way. There's they no don't way. have one. There's you got to no, go no. one for one. No, I'm saying you're making a great point. There is no way that you can go through them. They're not permeable to the point where you can penetrate their system, and all of a sudden, Tubi is showing this project that a young gifted cat or a young gifted gal might have made around the corner, but they can't go Tubi. You're gonna show my shit. That's Netflix. The you're gonna show my shit. Because see, in the podcast really? space, that's the next big thing we need. Huge. Because in the podcast Huge. space, we, we, can can say, we can go through Buzz Buzzsprout. Of Buzz course. And say, okay, we want to put our podcast out. We want to go through Buzzsprout. Wham, it's everywhere. So, here, so here's the thing. So then that leads us to this point. One of the greatest sources of business, and I say this to all the young cats who come up and ask me questions. Of, as you ask advice. I say cats, meaning young ladies too. If they ask me for wisdom, I, I say, you know, it's tough. For me, bros, when I hear, like, can you, can I make, you think I can make it? That's tough for me. Mm-hmm. Because if, if you're asking me if I you think can. you can make Okay. So that's, that's <laughs> tough for me, Gilly. So I appreciate you. You can't, you can't make it. You can't. Not you don't at, even believe you. Yeah, not if, I've never asked myself, can you can't I do you this? You can never ask that. So that's the first thing. But then there's another thing that I, that I say often, and it, it is, what, what, what advice do you have to give me? I say training, crafting is everything. Mm-hmm. It does not mean that Wallow was not at points trained in a 20 year span of imprisonment. Mm-hmm. It does not mean that Gilly's life experience via V's experiential wisdom that thusly comes out from that. Mm-hmm. Not wisdom, wisdom. God put wisdom on earth before light. Mm-hmm. Wisdom floats. Mm-hmm. Some of us are born with pain. Some of us are born with wisdom. We collect pain along the way. Mm-hmm. We can collect wisdom along the way. But some of us come out of the womb with that shit, which is a gift. But to have experiential wisdom is priceless because you get to talk to somebody about what you've been through mm-hmm. and their relatability now mm-hmm. is the thing that allows you to pull up and go, there's a relatability. Not mm-hmm. only that you are granted, but they also are granting you a relatability because right. they stay along for the lesson. Mm-hmm. They didn't move away from the right. lesson. I'm saying, I always say exclusivity is everything. Mm-hmm. What you mean, Mr. O? What you mean, ghost? Whatever they, you gotta be the only one in the room that can do what you can do. But is you also saying that with your platform? Is you also saying that with your with your intellectual property? With this movie we created or this series we yes. created? Is you saying I should only have it on Hulu? No, nope, that's it. No, nope, no, nope, not not saying that. It's gotta be so exclusive that it's so good that it's impossible for certain bigs yes. that you couldn't reach otherwise to not pull up. At one point, Nipsey said to Snoop, yo, don't frisbee my shit. 
Now that's a great entry. Don't frisbee my sh**. Y'all know what he meant. Don't frisbee it, but it's a great entry. He gave it a game, same type of thing. It's a great entry because it stands out. J. Cole went to those stoops of Def Jam Records all the time while at St. John playing hoop from Fayetteville, North Carolina, put that disc there and said, Sean Corey Carter, AKA Jay-Z. Well, J. Cole's one of the greatest MCs ever. Mm -hmm. Nipsey's one of the greatest poets ever, mm -hmm. right? Am I wrong, Gilly mm -hmm. Wallow? Oh, yeah. One's a phenomenal poet. Yes. One's an incredible poet MC. <laughs> incredible. So at some point, both of them pulled up, Snoop that is, Calvin Brodus governmentally, Sean Corey Carter governmentally, they pulled up and went, oh, this is exclusive. This is some different shit. This is some different shit. Yeah. So to, your, to, to, to that point, while leveraging is being so dynamically different that it's undeniable that somebody, so when the podcast space is what the podcast space is, and you guys aren't formally crafted and or trained, and our age group doesn't really know what the fuck podcast is, I had one, while I had poetics. Yeah. It was only on a specific luminary platform, Gilly, which is why you didn't know about it enough. Right. But all the way from Curtis to Rhapsody to Young Paris to Fat Joe to Marsha Ambrosius to right. Dark Child. Well, everybody was on it. Everybody was on it. Right. Talking about lyricism. What truly is lyricism? The right. start of the song lyrically is the start of their life story. Lyrics just follow it. Right. But you We did. didn't know podcasts. You and Gilly didn't know podcasts. Yeah. And all of a sudden somebody goes, well, oh, you did a 20 piece. Come hither. Gilly, I don't know what you're going to do with the pain that you feel from son being passed away and all the things you've been through, shot included, growing up a young urban kid in North Philly, a black kid at that, come hither. Y'all went, what? Podcast, our age group didn't know it. Right. But all of a sudden, y'all are right there with all the other great podcasts. Why? Because, Wallow, you and Gilly bring an exclusive story. You bring a story that is undeniable. It's harder in the film business. It's harder. To, to cross the bureaucratic red tape to go, here's my exclusive thing. But it has been done. Is there money? Is it, is it, it has is been money, done. Is there money in the film business? Now, now listen. Is there money, is money in the film business? No, no. As an actor, that's not Denzel, that's not Will Smith. Like, is it reasonable you, money? Because we looked at. You got to produce now. Because we looked at what's name, and he said for the show, I thought that was the, the Living Colors. And all the stuff. I mean, uh, Eleven Color, uh, uh, Damon Wayne, Kenan and, Kenan and David. Uh, 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 I mean, uh, what's the name that just was on the joint? What was it? Marlon, 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 Marlon. Marlon said they were trying to give us seventy thousand to stay and back to our brother. I'm like seventy thousand a week? No, no, seventy thousand for the I think for the movie. I don't know if it was okay. A week. Okay, okay, but, but 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 think about it. I'm looking at it, and when you hear the they horn, offered Seinfeld five million to stay on with their cast, five million a year. Jennifer Aniston, at some point while married to Brad Pitt, was making more essentially than Brad was making in certain yeah. in certain ways. If you put That's it in what that I'm manner. saying, so she was at thirty. They did thirty six episodes while she was at thirty. Obviously, Uncle Sam takes, agent takes, so, yeah. manager takes, publicist takes. He still takes. walked away with fifteen, sixteen million. Easily, money. homie, easily. A year. And then when they offered Seinfeld, Seinfeld said, "No, you forgot my leverage." They because then they were like, "Oh." Shit, we should, he caught wind that they were trying to get rid of the show. He caught wind. And all he needed was that. I respect that. He caught wind. Like, all of a sudden, you're coming in, catching the vapors. Rest in peace, Bismarck. Like, nah, bro. Seinfeld had a right to go, no, 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 no. Give that to another show. That need, I don't need that yeah. cash. Uh -huh. and, and Jerry Seinfeld has become Jerry Seinfeld. But, but, right? but for us, it's you, very different for us. Because we, 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 very have, different for I us. I never, it never been some of our greatest actors. That never had a horror story. Most people had horror stories, especially from the from the um, sitcom, TV shows. Our greatest sitcom. Because a lot of in, us. I've never in life, as an actor, made the merit metric, numerical as it pertains to, to 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 money. I have never made the money be fitting, in my opinion. Of what, because I have an understanding of, of, of metrics. Was it reasonable? Was the money of reasonable? Of course, absolutely. But what's the most you ever, but it's, but what's it's the most not, you ever made? I mean, your cousin would say it's not. Gilly said it's not reasonable. Or if you're the second most watch face on television, you're supposed to be the second most watched You're the second paid. most watch. He's doing numbers. So you say you're doing like football and all this. Like, what's it's that just call? numbers. Right. Listen, bro, everything everything to me yeah, is if like. Pat Mahomes is where right. he's at, then another quarterback similar should right. go. I forget what that's right. called. Like, right. like, for me, everything is like a record contract. Even when we was going into the podcast, I said, because this shit like a record contract.
record contract. We're going to get X amount of money. Whatever money we get up front, we got to recoup that. After that, we're going to go 60 40 on merch. We're going to go 70 30 on ads. That's right. Gonna, that's right. You, that that you, verbiage it, is this right. It's like a record contract. It, so it's like, okay, I'm the second highest watch after Game six of years. Thrones. For bro, we're talking about Game of Thrones, bro. It's Game of Thrones and then it's me. How much you was getting paid? How much you you thought you were supposed to get paid? Well, the, 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 the much you're supposed to get paid is that shit is astronomical. Yeah, it's not. It doesn't. It's, it's, you can't even put a number on that shit. You know, you know what it is sometimes, brother? Sometimes it's just being able to say, we in here. You did a great job with that skit, Wallow. We back. You, you're not trying to date my girl now. We, we back. Date your daughter. My daughter. We, we, just, we just Italian Italian or, or Jewish mob now. Mm -hmm. right, well, well, what I'm playing? You're playing somebody giving me the number of what right. word, word is bond. A very Jewish terminology and thought. Right. We don't need a contract, right? right. Word is bond. Right. You're just giving me a number. You're giving me a... I'm going to tell you a number. Yep. Uh, no, so no, no, no. You're just passing a number to me. me. Just slide a number. Sometimes for me, Wallo, when I grab that, if I turn it to the people I trust, that's, that, it's not, you get it? What Gilly just did says it all. It's not always about, it's, it's, sometimes, bro, business is just love. Just show me respect. It's not love. Let me take that away. Like is underrated. Mm -hmm. To like somebody is underrated, Wallo. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. to like somebody is pretty special. Mm -hmm. We love a lot of money necessarily like but to respect mm -hmm. that's king yeah. as officially the older we get we respect, go respect 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 and, and you did 20 and you did life. 20 and you respect. did 20 that's so i already know i already know and sometimes and i didn't do 20. sometimes when you my turn manager here with me right now didn't do 20. while mm -hmm. you the camera operators watching it they didn't do 20. i got friends that did 20. Mm -hmm. you did 20 homie mm -hmm. so you understand respect at a whole other level so sometimes respect is simply and i go and then I look back at you, whether you're playing Gilly's role or, or Gilly's playing your role in this scene right now. If I look at you, and especially with you knowing what's respectful, and you know numbers now. If you look back at me and you go, and you give me a nod, and I trust you, I've delegated you as someone who can give me your opinion as to whether this is feasible and reasonable. If, if, if you go like this and go, then I go, got it. I actually don't even need to look at the number if your people go is good. But not if your people don't know money. And, and you if your people know money, then your people get to go, ah, not. Nah. Then I don't look crazy. Right. We should never be the bad guy. Certain interviews were never set up for me to come off as the bad guy. But when we talk money, you can't into the world, that particular world that we grew up in, mm -hmm. more so that particular world we grew up in, mm -hmm. understands money right. and value right. and what a network was getting right. or a Sony was getting right. or a Paramount was getting right. or until you know what the top up tops were getting. Right. Because a lot of times then you can't really speak about right. what the bottom or the middle or whatever were not right. getting right. or should be happy about getting. I'm always happy. Count it all joy. You asked perfectly, Wallow. Was it respectable? Of course it was respectable. Right, so but listen. not once you get to a place where what's been gained by your services getting a team down the field. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not when what's been gained for the company by getting your team down the field is not matching of your ability to do three-step drops, cut across, throw underhand, do it's so this. Uh -huh. This what Gil did. You see what you just said? This was Gilly right here. What did Gilly say? This was a bit more, right? You see this date, right? You ain't got to get my this. glasses, bro. Uh, nope, nope. You go got them right there. I'm gonna read all Let of this. Let me go back to it. Right here. So right here. Thanks, Stones. This right here. This this started a bit more. That was that day, right? This is Gilly right here. This is me, and this is Gilly. And I'm gonna tell you, they offered this ten uh, million dollars. Uh, 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 I ain't gonna say no name. No, go back, go back. You see right here? Go back. No, go back. Just be free. These. Yeah, these go back. Like, he went, went all the way down. Go back. Because if you, yeah. We ain't gonna say no names. No, but, no, we not but, saying names. No, but. And, and by the way, let me, in this, let, let, in me this, the, in, in, let me give you the, what, what happened. Okay. They sent over an offer. It was for $10 million. Right here. As you, you can see, see me, I'm laughing. And I'm laughing. He's laughing. Because it's a respect thing. We know our leverage. You offer this $10 million. Let me, million look, at dollars, let me look at it. 
And then I'm gonna show you the next offer after that. Yeah, I see what you're doing. Your response. You see mine's, I'm like, and then he, and then right here, look, look. And then it go right here, the same day, July, look, look, look. Later on, that day, look at that one. So you know they was playing at first. They always playing. And the, the other people come like that. So what Gilly, so what, so what, and I said this to, to Fred, when I finished Pivot, I said, Fred, that's gonna become clickbait. We had such a beautiful interview. You can't bring up money at the end of an interview. Yeah. Because we don't have time to talk about it. So the reality is, I am so forever grateful and humble to all jobs had. This is not at all talking about power and stars. Because it's leading to producer. And I'm not it's leading about, to producer. And I'm not talking about power and stars. But it's leading to producer. Yes, Bravo. Yes. That's but, what but listen to me, Bubba. I'm talking about the entirety of the 20 year career. When I walk down the street, Gilly and Wallow would start to cry knowing that Omari definitely has not been paid parallel to our inability to walk 15 blocks, if not five blocks down the street with him. We can't walk. Now at that point, Gilly and Wallow are also being stopped. So now it's a difficult walk because you two have become famous. Uh -huh. But at some point, if you're walking down the street with me and you're not, and, and, and Wallow just got out, you just got released a week ago, let's make it that. Mm -hmm. Gilly's chilling, trying to figure out what's next. Mm -hmm. If y'all just walk down the street with me, whether it's my neighborhood, Decatur, Wesley Chapel, 20 or Hollywood or Chicago. That's right. Or Philly. Anywhere. If y'all are walking down the street, Africa, nigga. Okay. If I go to Italy, I can't walk down the street. Mm -hmm. if I so if I'm walking down the street, you would get back in your car. I would dap y'all up, give y'all love, be out. Y'all would get in the car. Gil would go, hello? Look at this. I you would go, Gilda's old tell you his bank account? You would go, yeah, and told me, but there's no way as this, at the point of career he's in, right? Not, not where I'm going. He ain't got a hundred million. You said it perfect, Wallo. Not where I'm going, but where I'm at that day when you walk with me, you would go, yeah, you don't know his bank account, but I agree with you, Gilly. There's no way he's getting monetarily that which matches his inability to walk a block down the street. That should impact. be monetized. His impact, his impact is crazy. Impact. That should be monetized. His, his brand recognition. Right. It's nutty. Right. So yes, the future is bright. Well, what's next? Well, I know the future is bright. But hold on, a lot of times, a lot That's of a times point, too. Bro. I want to know what's next. A lot of times when you this color, no disrespect, but when you this color right here, a lot of times you got to get your on the second time. Yeah, so it's always, the same. I think it's, is it ever the first time? I mean, that's, I just, that's just how it works. Yeah. For a very long time, uh, Michael Jordan. Sometimes, might be the third time. Who's the top basketball player in your mind, Gilly? Who ever played basketball? Michael Jordan. Okay, Wallow. Mike. Yeah, because we all, our age group is gonna right. say Mike. All because right. Michael Door. Jordan was the best. Door. Period, Door. period. Okay, while Michael is the best, what we most know. He made $30 million Call him and let for him two know. years. That's well, it. Say it again. He made thirty million dollars for two years. That's it. So you got so kids hey, out here that's bums so, right now so that's what, making thirty that's million dollars. So, th so this is the difference. So this is the difference. You got him back on the stage. Whether I'm an ass or I'm a cool cat, Wallow and Gilly are watching on Sunday nights. Gilly at points was watching while I'm inside, right? You was watching me inside. No, yeah. I mean Wallow was watching. Yeah, you were. And I go to jails constantly. I speak to Juvie. I go to jail. I go all over the place. At some point, y'all was watching and going, "I want to meet up." Yeah. Once you say you want to meet me, it's very different than watching a character right. get a team down the field. Right. Now you go, I want to stay around after the game and meet dude. Right. Dude seems like I would rock with him. Right. When you're this, to Gilly's point, mm -hmm. what's also not accounted for is your ability to be such a leader that what y'all see coming through the camera is also leadership. Mm -hmm. And y'all go, he seems different they don't account often for the leadership of us. Is that a specific thing accounted for for a white colleague and or teammate whom I've loved and or at least associated with? When they say cut, I go have a beer with them? No, it's not specific that a lawyer goes, I got you this amount for being leader. No, there, there's no, nothing in the contract says great leader this amount, right? But it's worked in because you're also a great leader. Right. So you get, monetization for yeah. also being a great leader. Yeah. We are often paid for simply the service rendered title-wise on paper. Not, but see, 
as an uncle would say in a barbershop or our pops or our grandpops, but see, you got to look deeper. Allen Iverson is not just 160 pounds soaking wet, gets to the cup and then goes to the free throw line. He usually makes it at the cup. Mm -hmm. AI at 160, wobbly knees, made it at the cup mm -hmm. and then went and it was an and one. So that's three. Mm -hmm. That's the reason that you end up paying somebody for the intangibles, which is the word often used. Right. We're not often paid, to Gilly's point, we're not often paid for many a thing, but we, we truly aren't paid for the intangibles, the things not on paper. It is a disproportionate in in performance recognition matching that which dividends then follow. Mm -hmm. It is a inequity as it pertains to certain peoples in life mm -hmm. and particularly in this country. Whereas dollars are again not specifically granted for leadership for our colleagues who don't look like us, but the increase of dollar is there. Mm -hmm. So if we could get paid at times wallow and Gilly. And in terms of getting paid, we then garner more leverage, more muscle. There in lies other opportunities, which goes full circle to your point, then I can aid in that which Gillian, you said is needed. So to be able to upload movies like podcast episodes can be uploaded. Because if I'm granted more money and I'm a leader and I want to delegate and I want my people to win, then in reality, what, it, what ends up happening is not counterintuitive. You still get to work with all of the people that are of every color. You're not just working with black people, but you're making it where black people who are under us, as in younger than us, coming up, looking up to us, they get a shot. Because now there's certain people that are in placement that don't look like opposite of them. There are people in placement that look like them. Mm -hmm. Going, I went through a lot of broken glass, got through the window, mm -hmm. cuts are everywhere on me, so that you could kind of get through without getting cut. Right. And I'm okay being the one cut. Right. I am. I get, I get, I'm okay with it. Nobody on the first time out is that. Michael right. made $3 million right. forever. Right. Finally got 32 to Kelly's point. Right. You know that, Wallow. Right. Yeah. Bro, he's the great. They built the NBA on Michael. On Michael Jordan. They did the 100 number one sportsmen of all time. He was number one. Right. Babe Ruth was two. Right. Muhammad Ali, of course, was number three. Right. But he's the number one sportsman in the last 100 years. Right. So the thing says. And right. I think all of the things say that. Right. Bro, they built literally the it's NBA. Not, right. Like let me ask you And Spike one. should get a lob right. for that. Right. Yeah. Spike's yeah. involved yeah. in yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Spike, yeah. Spike's involved yes, in that. In the, the marketing, marketing yeah, it's is everything. all of that. Yeah. So there's monetization that shows up in ways that I want our people to go, oh right. right. Even Spike could have Yeah. Right. There's value. Right. We gotta understand value. A lot of kids will be like, that just comes easy to me. How many little right. we know in the hood that we go, that's special. They go, that comes easy. Yeah. We go. Yo, you get paid for that. Right. They yeah. go, really? Right. That comes easy to you. You get you paid get... for being special. Right. Let me say this from somebody that had the opportunity, shout out to Ving Rames. My Absolutely. OG put Absolutely. me in 10 movies. Shout out to Ving, man. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Seen me on something on YouTube and called me up, reached out to me, put what? me in a bunch of movies. Yeah, that's, how you, that's how you connect. So, so. Is Ving what? Philly? No, he's from L.A. I was from New York, but he lived in L.A. And the Julie R. From a person that's been on a movie set a bunch of times and started to figure out who I was on the movie set and understood that some of the the best takes on the movie set come from that you personally put into the movie. That's right. That's right. Because every time I would do a movie now is okay. I give you a couple takes where I'm reading the script. Yeah. Okay. And then it's like okay, come on, shoot now. I'm doing me. I feel. I feel some stuff. I'm doing me. Yeah. Yeah. Most of the time, those are the takes that make the cut. Yeah. What's the, how much would you say the percentages of you that you improv that you and that shit makes the cut? Is it a lot of times you, you improv or is it a lot of times just the script? Is it? That's a great question. I'm always going to be able to improv enough, Gilly, because I'm coming and respecting the writer. Right. So I guess the 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 genesis of my answer is that would depend, as you and, and Wallow and I were talking about, that would depend on the security level of the writer, oh, okay. first and foremost. Okay. So because we don't know often the security level of the writer, because we haven't hung with the writer, mm -hmm. unless we personally yeah. know them, mm -hmm. then you do come in respecting the writer. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to stay here. I'm going to stay I'm, on I'm this. I'm going to stay here. Mm -hmm. And then they see you respecting them, and then you try and have them. Mm -hmm. And then you look over, and the director will be 
the defense mm -hmm. for the writer. Mm -hmm. The director is the blocker mm -hmm. for no for us, right? Mm -hmm. The director is the blocker for us, mm -hmm. but also for the writer. For the writer, he, he's well. both, right? He or, he and or she is 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 the blocker for both. Mm -hmm. So the director might go uh, try to get one that's not an ad lib. Try to get one, mm -hmm. but but I like it. I like that ad lib. Try to get one for the writer. If the writer's secure enough and they happen to be on set that day, because oftentimes you get on the phone and you call them if you're the director. But if the writer, or if you get in my position at, at when I was on power, I could call Courtney. Mm -hmm. And then she, I would have to go through Courtney, mm -hmm. even if someone else wrote that particular episode, I'd have to go, go through Courtney. She would A-okay it. And or go, no, oh, I don't want you to, okay, no problem. But at some point she- Explain who's Courtney is. Give Courtney, 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 Courtney Kemp is the creator of the show Power. Um, and I know so many people watch the spinoff, so y'all would go, so what's the connect? The origination, the, ori the OG, is that what they call our mm -hmm, show? Mm -hmm. The OG Power, um, which starred obviously myself, Joseph Shakur, uh, Notori Naughton, and Lila Loren, and obviously uh, Curtis was the exact producer. Courtney is the creator of that show. So she's the head writer, and she hires the writer's room. Whether it's five writers, whether it's seven writers, that's who she is. Thank you for that, Wallow. Yeah. So in the midst of me giving a little bit of ad lib, as long as you're respectful, Gilly, I have found that Omari has always been able to impart a little bit more of what I think the character. Remember, it's not about an ego thing. Right. So what I feel after embodying the character enough, I never believe that an actor should have a character down. Mm -hmm. Bro, I'd be done with, with, with movies and or that character five months and I go, Ah, sh I'm learning him more now. Bro, it's over. Right. So I'm still <laughs> learning the right. character. I right. never claim to own the character right. in the way of knowing him in and out. But if I know him enough, where Gilly, you as a director and or producer, if it's Wallow, you two feel comfortable hiring me. I know that character enough. If I feel the words that need to come out of my mouth to portray that character mm. are a bit better if I say it this way. As long as I was respectful on the walk up to that point, I definitely have ad lived in every project I've ever done. That's crazy because every, I've never, every project I never looked at it like that. I always, but see, I'm not as deep of an actor as right. him, and I didn't grow up that I just got an opportunity. So I always looked at the script as like, this is just like kind of like a, a navigation lead. But they would allow you. To, they, oh yeah, they no, would allow. No, I'm me, saying they yeah. would allow you to. You became crafted. Once you become crafted, you would be grabbed a little bit more. Oh okay. It's you not being as crafted and I'm going. Because because I would do it the first what they say and then they would say, okay, that, Gilly, that, let's, let's do an improv where you you ask them. And then when I do that, they're like, oh, great, Gilly. It, it could be money. But, but it's hard to be money once Gilly has more. What's the word we've been saying? So I was with L? Uh, leverage. More leverage. Oh, yeah. Once you have more leverage, I don't have any leverage. You are actually yeah, yeah. grabbed more. Yeah, yeah. I wallow, have any leverage wa at the wallow, time. wallow inside is free as he said, to covet his imagination. Mm -hmm. Wallow now benefits not only himself, but he benefits organizations, colleges, teams, professional and mm -hmm. He benefits the team from the imagination that he was able to keep nice and pure mm -hmm. inside when he was going at him. Mm -hmm. You already know. As a cousin, you must have been in pain. Mm -hmm. Cause you already know only in your imagination, cause you're not there every night, mm -hmm. what he must be going through. And your imagination is reminding you what he, he must be going through. He was in there hugged up, man. He okay, so you know. While he was being he hugged the up. the little spoon. While he was being <laughs> hugged up by the big spoon, while he was the little spoon. He was maintaining enough of a leverage inside to make it out. He mm -hmm. survived. Mm -hmm. Cut, action, hold up. I, I just walk into the cell. You the OG in the cell. Let's go. Who am I? I ain't got no No, no, you just. You just nobody. Okay. The cell clo <laughs> cell door closed. Yeah. Burr, boom. Where do I put my stuff? Where you want to put it? Is, can I put my stuff on that bed? I don't know. Can you? Listen, OG. I'm just I'm just here to do my time. I know. We are here to do the same thing. But I don't I don't want to be in no no problems, young blood. So I, is it cool that I put my my stuff name is O. O what? Oh, that's oh, for you oh, to learn. no, nigga. That's, that's for you to learn. <laughs> no, I just, I'm just, I'm that's, like, that's for you to learn. Now, get, get out of the scene. Uh, uh, I like you. I like you. You like me? Hold on. I, I like you. How do you, why, how do you, why I, you like? How you want me to like you? <laughs> it could be any way you choose. 
Multiple choice here. How you want me to like you? That sounds like my ass from a lot. He said that. How you want me to like you? Huh? <laughs> you know what? Like after that question, you know what come next? See ya! <laughs> yeah, that's how I'm Nerd! <laughs> this ain't the cell for me. Nerd! <laughs> this ain't the cell for me. It, it's, just, it's just like. But now, my point to him is once he's out in the world speaking on his experiences, and it's making players understand life better, mm -hmm. which is making them perform better. Right. They almost forget that he was inside, not the players. Right. The organizations who hire him. Right. That's what I'm saying. At right. one point, Gilly is very sick for a producer to call home and go, Gilly was on set. It was amazing. He was doing his thing. He was great. We didn't have a He was great. Mm -hmm. Gilly, if you went to class and got crafted for five years, and then you came, mm -hmm. you know more now. Mm -hmm. So they expect more from you. Mm -hmm. That's the point. Oh. Yes. So you're green yes. before. When he's in jail, he's green with great story. Yeah. And Wild was articulate, he's bright. He was bright at 17. He yeah. might have learned more in jail, right. but he probably took to the book the same way he would have taken the book if he was free when he took to whatever book was given his way by the OG. Yo, read this, young blood. He would yeah, have taken it right. to it outside the same way he did inside. But now that he is actually on the circuit as one of the great speakers, mm -hmm. speaking on the, on the speaker series of life circuit, there's a different expectancy of this brother now. Yeah. People really raise their bar once they go, oh, you oh, you here now. Okay, you yeah. arrived? Yeah. So sometimes for me, Gilly, because I've arrived as an actor, right. it's like... You you, you got a certain pinnacle yeah. you got to reach. Yeah, Amari, stick to the script a little right. and, and, and I think, it's deep, and I right? think like it's, what you're saying is they respect certain deliverables because when they write it and they pick you to play this yeah, part, to play that specific he's going he's gonna to bring this out That's even right. more. So as they write in, That's right. he... He know how to make he's this right, pop, he's right about so that. he can't mm -hmm. deviate. He's right about that. I'm right. writing this, so but he can go. But thanks. sometimes, but sometimes he's when actually, I found out he's with right, the he's writer, right about that. sometimes I found out with the writers that I would do, I would be like, yo, God. then like shout out to Ryan. I would be like, Ryan, like, you know, I really wouldn't say. I wouldn't this. say like, this. I wouldn't like nobody. And Ryan is the writer. Or yeah, the director. Ryan is, okay. is, is, is the so, and Ryan would be like, okay, so so, what would you say in this situation? And I would be like, I probably would say this, and then, okay, let's try that. So, so they but, was real he, cool. No, with, no, but, you know but, what I'm saying? But while I was right, they were cool because of where you were. Exactly. And, 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 yeah, and, and once you're at a place, once you're up here. I'm down here. Are you so so you they so don't skilled? know what to expect from me. And a lot of times, and what was so crazy about Is me, Pat Mahomes, a master at standard quarterbacking, or has he perfected backyard? Quarterbacking. Back, backyard quarterback. And and what's the operative word, Gilly? Backyard or perfected it? Perfected. You know it. So your cousin saying, you're coming in, dope at backyard. Right. But once you perfect backyard. I'm expected. My level of expectancy. I'm, right, I'm, right, I'm writing for you. For you. Right. He's writing for right. it. I'm different. writing for you to so deliver this. To deliver. That's what it really is. Just to that. That's what it really is. Have you ever had any movie roles or any roles, period, that came to you that you might have turned down that you look in life now and you like, why the f*** did I turn that role down? I don't have any. You don't have any? I have some that I absolutely wish. You didn't do? No, I absolutely have something I wanted to do. Yeah. But I do believe that no role is yours if somebody else got it. Right. The role is yours, you get. But I mean, some like. But I never had those that like I, haven't, I, I haven't had any. Yeah. I say no to so much. Yeah. Shit. But I haven't had the one that I've said no to that I went, oops. I've definitely had a, what do you call it, scheduling conflict. Yeah. yeah. Black Panther. Yeah. Well, you. But I was power. Power. Let me ask you a question. What's next? What's Power. the next big role? Couldn't go do that. That was six months. The next, had to work the next out. big role is Star Trek. Yeah. Oh. Se the next big role is Star Trek. Wallow. Star Trek. Star Trek. Who was you playing in Star wait, Trek? Wait, 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 wait. Section 31. Wait, wait, wait. Do you know, understand Star Trek been out forever? That's 60, 60, 60. the beginning of life. How many years is Star Trek? I think Star Wars is 40 plus. I feel like Star Trek is 60 some years. So, Roddenberry, so, 60 some years. So, so, so did that, was that about leverage from here? When we, for sure, that was leverage from what you was for building. For sure, did, so it worked and a was, bigger and a bigger picture. Because did, 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 money, not no, no, no. It's not about money. No, 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 no exactly. I'm saying, it's I'm about saying, did it work the out? Bigger, yeah, did well, it work out because yeah. it wasn't the money here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it turned into a bigger opportunity because sometimes I think it always. I think it always worked. I'm so, I'm so biblical, Wallow, that even in I have Islamic family members, mm -hmm. so I could say whether it's the Bible or the Quran or the Torah, if you're Jewish or Book of Latter-day Saints, right? If you're Mormon or Book of Hinduism or, or, or Buddhism, I believe all the templates have similar stories. I do believe, my bro, 
that I was, and I think Gilly said it. No, you said it, Wallow. You said it. I still had to go through what I've had to go gone through. Mm -hmm. I, I still had to go through what I've gone through. Yeah. I, 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 I count it all joy. I think it's supposed to happen that way. I think producers are supposed to get, get the, the biggest bang for the lowest amount of buck, for sure. Because it's a producer's job to I protect do. the budget. Sure. I, I get I it do. as low as possible. I like it, bro. I'm an athlete. By nature, I'm always an athlete. Mm -hmm. I think it was, I, I, I think it was you guys interviewing, it was you guys interviewing Rich Paul. And, and Rich said, the athlete has the hardest job in the world because he brings everyone to work. Well, at a point where you and Gilly are saying is, that is not apropos for all actors, but at the point that O becomes where he became, once he's leading the brigade, and it's the second most watched show, he's almost like the athlete, bringing yes. everyone to work. Yes. But I do agree that even if I'm bringing everybody to work, I can understand, oh, you still won't get paid. To be able to divvy out in the way that you want to divvy out, mm -hmm. but you will be paid in the future for what? Leverage. Leverage. Proof of concept. Proof of concept. Proof of concept. That's and better. Proof That's of better. Concept. I'll tell you why it's I better. I got proof that I, I'm I, next level. I'll tell you why it's better. Wallow says it a little bit better, Gilly, because leverage I might not have at a particular point, but my leverage going forward is from proof of concept. When I look back and Wallow and Gilly go, oh, four spinoffs came off of your getting the ball down the field. Mm -hmm. Four new do you know how many actors though got paid from you playing quarterback mm -hmm. i didn't do it without a without a great wide receiver and and and, and joseph mm -hmm. i didn't do it without a great halfback in naturi mm -hmm. i didn't do it without a a, a great wingback in lila mm -hmm. and i didn't do it without a great linebacker called curtis 50 cent jackson I, right. it did yes but you were the quarterback over right. correct so it's all on me. Right. When we lose, it's on me. Right. When we win, it's on me. <laughs> so at, so while I was right, at this point, Gills, I was able to look back, proof of concept, and go, now Courtney has to be given credit for the concept. Right. Courtney did that shit. Right. She nailed it. Right. But if I got her concept down the field right. with my fellow teammates, right. and we got you four. You materialize her imagination. That's it, Bubba. And we got four? We got four off of that? Mm -hmm. Gillian Wallow, how many actors got hired off that? Plenty. Friends. Yeah. No, 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 no. Wood, no, no. Wood Harris, oh. Method. Michael Ely is oh, a dear friend of mine. Right, right. Uh, my, 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 my boy Woody, right. I love Woody. Let's right. love Woody. Can, can we expand it? Can I expand it? I love Woody. Can I, I expand it? Guy. How many actors got hired off of it, right? How many audio guys? How many cameramen? Oh, wow. How many editors? How many, pay, how many lawyers had to do paperwork? Wow. How many people that handled the, the commissary? Wow. The food, the, like the whole, like you the think about thing. the whole the set. Whole thing. You know they don't call it commissary on the streets. Well, you know the uh, no, they, they call it crafty, crafty, uh, crafty, yeah, yeah, crafty. Right. Like, but what I'm saying is jail wardrobe, <laughs> wardrobe, <laughs> makeup. Hold up, keep going. So you got all that stuff. Teamsters, teamsters, all that stuff. Driving the trucks, the not just the vans. The everybody, everybody. So you're talking about hundreds of people, and and so much money, a lot of money. So I, I I am biblical enough and believe in God enough, Gills and and Wallow, that I can look at it and go, oh, I'm good. Well, because what did I say, Wallow, at the start of the conversation? I was always moving forward, right. even when people go back, back. In the hood, we say back, back. You can't really back, back. Back up. Right. It's so funny. When we all play football, back, growing dad, up, back, back. There you go, 50 Bobby. feet. There you go. Yeah. There you go. So it's like, nah, I'm going forward. The same amount of feature asked me to go backwards, I'm going forward. So at a point, if I put in my time, Wallow, you did that on the inside, for yeah. real. Military, got to shout out our vets. Got to shout out shout our out. vets. Mm -hmm. What y'all do they for us is for the freedom. Gotta shout y'all out. But the inmates, even the ones who might have done something that only Wallow knows what he did, and that's only for the Lord to judge. Wallow made it out on the other side. So many don't. So once you make it out on the other side, my brother, so many don't. Right. So once you make it out on the other side, we all are left to go, right, right. As long as I'm always kind of going forward, even if I'm asked to back back, by the time somebody doesn't push me back, they'll look over and go, all right, you've pledged enough. Mm -hmm. I got you. Right. And I believe in that. Right. As a fraternity brother of an actual fraternity who went through that process, 
Alpha Phi Alpha Incorporated having an understanding that at some point I would get a letter and, and be able to put a shirt on that said it. Sometimes in this business, you don't really know when you're going to get that letter if it's analogous to the payday that you feel reflects what you've given to the right. industry. You don't really know when it's going to happen. Right. But you're right, Wallo. If you go to ownership and you become an exec producer, then you kind of know, at least I'm going to get a nice one for this because I'm not just actor, I'm producer. And so on section 31, I am not set up on this first one as producer, but what is being offered to me is opportunity that is limitless. So who knows? Right. They are just beautifully saying, oh, come and bring that big ass fan base that you have with you. Right. That's leverage. And, and my also, fans, you guys are incredible for me because right. you are my leverage. Right. My fans are my leverage. Right. My money is the fans at this point, right. uh, which is deep. It's funny, right. no, because Gil always say that. Gil always say that. that he, he, you know, people be like, yo, come to the party, come to this. Gil be like, I don't really got time to be faking with this fake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to Hollywood, part, all these parties. Doing that. Let's get together. Let's kick all fake. Yeah. When the real people is in the street, they somewhere at that thing over there. Like when we throw a party, we invite them. Yeah, we invite the, them in. The, the, the real people. This is that. Because they're the people that hold us down. And, and, Not, and, and hear me when I say that. Celebrities don't hold you down. It's just a bunch of it's hobnobbing. Hobnobbing. Hey, man, we got to get together. Let's do it, man. And Listen, then, man. And then you don't hear from How your people get together. It's like, <laughs> bro, I, I don't even got your number. How we getting yeah, there? You're just talking that shit because we at Michael Rubin party right now. I don't want to hear that shit, man. But for me, I'm a person that thinks. He told a dude in the party. Listen, funny. I'm a person that truly believes. Yes, that because, bro, let's stop the fake. Yeah, don't do that. No, don't one do thing that. about me, I, I keep it real. And also, we don't time I, for that. We don't time and, and for one that. One time, I, I keep it real. You know, this ain't got nothing to do with Wallow. This ain't got nothing to do with oh me. I get my money with the white man. Yeah, let's be yeah. for real. Yeah, yeah. yeah. all the yeah. niggas gonna do is yeah. call you, yeah. tell you how good you're doing, what you should do, how we could get some money together, and we never gonna get no money money together because the reality of it is they get money with the f white man too so i don't get into none of that we gonna go back and forth we gonna cake it and then you're not gonna sock into my pocket like a rocket you're not gonna pay me what i'm worth i'm gonna go get paid to the closest that i'm worth i'm a person that believe you're putting your time out here your blessings come from god that's it when you put enough Same work in you, you put enough work in god comes. gonna say you know what you, you put you. enough work in here you go let me open the doors up for you Cause, there cause, you go because i'm gonna say something Gil, to your great point thank you for saying that because you reflect a lot of what i feel about saying that the devil always overplays his hand whether it's a vegas table of cards mm -hmm. whether it's life the devil overplays his hand and God always repays for what the devil has taken. Mm -hmm. Always. Mm -hmm. It is not making any human a devil. It is not making any group brand or company the devil. Mm -hmm. But if you said God, which is energy and spirit, mm -hmm. is going to grant your blessings to you, mm -hmm. then there's another energy and spirit, mm -hmm. that of the devil. To and it's it. not a specific human. Right. However that works. If humans happen to be in that huddle, so be it. Mm -hmm. But we're not naming any humans in this conversation, mm -hmm. which is never an interview when it's people of love. Shouldn't be called interviews. These right. are conversations. You said it right. If it's up top, no job that's yours ain't gonna go your way. Mm -hmm. As long as we're living up top. Mm -hmm. If you're living down low, <laughs> then you might get a catch a brick. Right. My brick ain't Dame Dash once said, my energy. As Dame Dash yep. said years ago, don't catch a brick. I, I respect Dame for saying that. Don't catch so. a brick. My energy ain't changed until I change my surroundings until I changed my energy. When I was had just a slight bit of negative, because I've always been a positive person, but I used Thank to be you, in the wrong circles, man. I used to have the wrong around me, man. Once I changed my, my surroundings, I changed my energy, and just positive every, every, start, every just start happening for me nonstop, just because I always had the talent, whether it was rapping, whether it was just talking, just whatever it was in. I had enough talent to get to where I needed to go. I just needed to change the energy that was around. And, that, and so for me, work does beget work. And where you and Wallow now are is, to your point, Wallow, it's where I feel like I'm at. I know I'm at. Which is, I feel so powerful, bro. I feel so powerful. Really because I endured the shards of glass that I had to walk across. Mm -hmm. We don't have yellow brick roads. Mm -hmm. We not in Kansas no more, fuck that. We never been in Kansas. We, we not, it ain't about we not in Kansas no more. What is Kansas? Ours is a different walk. And so having gone through that, Auntie Pauletta reached out to me, Denzel's wife. She reached out 
and saying, oh, what's going on? Where you, where you at? She gave me a lot, of, a lot of question marks and exclamation points, not like her, but, but I deserve that because she hasn't heard from me this summer. But when I talk to her, she's gonna go, got it. I was having to get, and I'm still having to get, so right within me. Mm -hmm. So right. We're constantly growing. Mm -hmm. You're dead if you're not growing. Right. So even all of you young people listening to us, we're saying growth is me telling you I'm still growing every day. Never preaching to you. 50 years old. I'm growing. I'm trying to grow. I'm trying to try everything. And the reality is, that's the place, Wallow and Gilly, I find myself. I'm on Section 31, whole new geographical and demographical yes. reality of fan base. Mm. I then go from that to a job with a one beautiful beloved brother of mine who shares Curtis's birthday, ironically, and that being Kevin Hart, we have something I can't talk about in an interview, gonna be beautiful. From that, there's a litany of other things that are there, and I'm producing them. And I'm also, this is the best part of it, Kelly, I'm hiring people, I'm giving people opportunities, Wallo. Right. That's the sh for yeah, me. Yeah, right. I'm giving people opportunities. Right. I get to go through my Rolodex and go, yeah, them. Yeah, them. Mm -hmm. Bro, when you get to a certain point in life, tell me, Wallow and Gilly, if I'm wrong, you really want to work with that you like to have dinner with after they say cut. Yeah. I really do. People that you genuinely connect with. Yeah, I just. Talented people. Talented people. Talented people. Talented people. They got to be talented. You got to be talented. Be I know talented. we going to get along. They ain't on no it just And they only on Hollywood when it's Hollywood That's right. Shit. When it's Hollywood That's all. They can play it. They can push the button. They, they, know they say, okay, we got to go to a premiere tonight. Yeah, yeah. It's Hollywood shit. Other than that, they regular yep. people. As yep. soon as they say, cut, uh, yep. oh, we regular yep. at the yep. hotel, busting it that up, part. having dinner. That part. That part. So before, that, before this. And, and the music included. Right. Elias, you let in with like, oh, you're a music guy. Yeah, right. that included. I'm just putting story out. Right. Nova said one day, Papa, you're a storyteller. Then why don't I got to tell a story then? Right. You, you said it great. You said, oh, I covered it. My, my imagination might have been gone if I was free. Yeah. But all my art might be gone if something, you know, feel me? Like, yeah. Y'all better tell a story before I can't tell a story no more. Mm -hmm. In all forms of telling story. <laughs> right. Musically included. Before you got the call, where was you at? And when you got the call, how did it make oh, you feel? Track joint? Yeah, yeah. How did it Crazy. But when you got that call, knowing all the work you put in, and you believe that this is going to pay off one day, how did it feel for you your family, like, how did it feel? Like, how could you, could, could you, could Stones, you? get my phone, bro. Could, could you, could this you? This Star Trek. Could you, you verbalize that? I don't moment? know where it is, but I, but, but Wallow is asking something. I want you to verbalize that moment. Wallow is asking such, is it in the car? No, it might be in the car. He's asking such a dope question. I never done this before, but Wallow and, did, and Gilly get to get this. Did he come in, Stone? No, it's in the car, bro. He can't. Oh, you? Yeah. It's in the car, bro. It's in the car. Yeah, yeah. Grab it for me. Because I want to know. I'm going to tell you. So that first strike, I think about, obviously we call it COVID, mm -hmm. but that was a strike for us. Mm -hmm. Business-wise, it was a strike. Mm -hmm. I loved my industry learning, now Gilly and Wallow's industry. We're all in the same industry. I love learning that the, I love the industry learning they weren't essential. Nobody was hitting pots and pans for them, mm -hmm. for us during COVID. I loved it. Because to your point, Gilly, there's too many arrogant people in our industry. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I love that they were left to go, oh, we're not essential at all. We're not working. But the nurses are. Even if the doctors got it wrong and putting everybody on emphysema tank. My security guard, senior, died. Sa Nordin Saeed Senior, shout out to Junior, his son, who we still got. He died right after grandma, after that, grandma died right after that, COVID. They was on that first wave. Mm -hmm. So when I think about that phone call with Section 31, I go back to COVID wallow and I go, wow, the death surrounding COVID, including Nipsey, right, a year prior, right? Mm -hmm. A full year prior. And then, and then Kobe the next year, but even before that first week that we were like, what is this COVID? Kobe's January 26th, Nipsey is March, right? Mm -hmm. the, the preceding year. That's the first strike. I didn't work until 2021. I went to do pieces of her with Tony Collette in Australia. Mickey Spiro, she was the director. I love female directors. It was an amazing experience. Bella Hico, amazing experience. Um, my boy Jacob Scipio, who plays the son of Will Smith in Bad Boys. Okay. All of us were together in Australia. Next strike, the actual strike, well. The actual strike, bro, as right, you know, the, the, the you writer, know, actor, yeah, yeah, yeah. director strike Correct. was so now, mm -hmm. as in last year, bro. Mm -hmm. The call about interest in me was during 
the weeks leading up to the strike. Oh my God. Then the strike. You oh. like. And while I'm so, real? And I'm so picky, so I'm already not really getting, I can't, you know, I'm picky. I say no to so much. That was the right thing to say yes to. But as soon as it came through, even though it was a week prior and I'm in the midst of the strike, to your great point, Gilly, I knew that I had it because God had put me on such a trek to become my star. So when they said Star Trek, literally, I said, of course I'm gonna get it. My trek has been such a journey to become a star. So why wouldn't I get a movie that, as you said, is 60 years old called Star Trek? My trek has been so painstakingly turtle, marathon, Nipsey ten toes down, more marathon. Marlon Wayans also said recently, which I thought was dope, he said, I'm still climbing the mountain. Shit. He said, I don't spend on cars. When I hit, I got a Range Rover. I'm still in that. Never went above it. Brilliant. Brilliant. Because he still sees himself as climbing. Once that thing came across Wallow and it said, Star Trek? Because I have been on such a trek to find my star. And I don't know what a star is. God makes stars. You know that. Mm -hmm. Hollywood also say we made you. No. Mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. <laughs> Hold on. You didn't make Norma Jean before she was Marilyn Monroe. Right. She was she was Marilyn. She had right. the gifts. Right. You didn't get you. Denzel was at Fordham majoring in, in, in medicine. You yeah. didn't. He's gifted. Right. Sidney Poitier was in the Bahamas trying to figure out life. He was in Miami. Mm -hmm. Then New York the next week. Mm -hmm. Then he met Harry. Mm -hmm. They were great together. Come on. Joseph Shakur was Chicago. Naturi was a little black girl from 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 freaking East Orange. Mm -hmm. Lila Loren is from Sacramento. Mm -hmm. 50 was Boo Boo. Mm -hmm. Didn't even Kurt. He was Boo Boo mm -hmm. from yeah. Southside Jamaica, Queens. You don't make us. We, we God picked us. You pick, you pick, you pick. Michael B. Jordan, sorry, pick, pick. Mm -hmm. You picked. Cicely Tyson, rest in peace, picked. All the way to the directors, all the way to all the great producers, all mm -hmm. picked. Stars of stars of star. Wallow and Gilly have star quality, period. It's just what it is. It. Dot, 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 ellipses. No dot, 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 ellipses, period. Mm -hmm. There's no ellipses, period. So because my star trek, meaning Wallow, whatever God made me to be was set, I'd heard millions of people on Audition One go, he's a star. But that, what is that word? Mm -hmm. I even don't like when people say, he's so talented. What the f is that until I execute? Mm -hmm. What the f is talented? You know how many talented people I've met mm -hmm. that don't do sh mm -hmm. How many talented people did you know on the inside? Wallow. Mm -hmm. Them niggas still on the inside. Mm -hmm. yep. They never have figured out how to, how to take their talent and go from A to B to Z. Mm -hmm. You pass Z. You're on a new alphabet, Wallow. You and your cousin on a new alphabet, bro. So for me, when it came across the email as Star Trek, I called my agents at UTA and I said, I'm going to end up doing this. It wasn't a straight offer. I said, but they will offer. And I told one agent who's always been about my thing, always been about. We were together at William Morris Endeavor. He went to UTA. I waited him out. I then joined him at UTA. I said, my trek, as you know, dear agent, has been such a trek to becoming whatever the world will call a star. We'll call a, a star, excuse me. There's no way I'm not getting from God. Mm -hmm. Alex Kurtzman can believe that he hired me. Tunde, our beautiful African brother who was raised in America, director can believe he casted me. But, 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 but you know, you and Wallow know, always gonna get a movie called Star Trek because look what his Trek has been. I went back, so I listened to music started putting the albums together. Concrete and Whiskey came out, more R&B, enough hip hop feel, spoken word feel, but now we're putting the next project together. I'm always, you know, so Capricorn, we're, we're ahead. We're putting the next together. Mm -hmm. and, while, and, and, and while doing that, a lot of me pressing play comes with lyrics of me talking about on a trek to find my Dr. Spock. Raised on Biggie and Pac mm -hmm. on a trek to find my Dr. Spock. I was writing that shit in 2017. Mm. Now I'm at Star Trek. Drop mm. a poem real quick. Mm. Tell me the name of it. The Greatest American Hero. Because mm. it's for all the shorties. When I was in second grade, the teacher asked me what I wanted to be one day. I said, Nero. Better yet, the Greatest American Hero. She said the possibilities were zero. So ever since that time, I've been... So that time I went home dying, crying. Ever since that time, I've been flying to be brought back to life. 
to tell the thoughts that others carry on their mind is scary, but if you look hard enough, you can find an abnormal amount of distance between me and my shadow. Imagine me standing so close that I actually become my own ghost. Mm. My job is to be the host, make the world a lot smaller, burn it up, but not like toast. Light that shit on fire. To ignite, to inspire, to rise higher and higher. Teacher said the possibilities were zero. So that day I went home crying ever since that time, dying to be brought back to life through verse and rhyme and share the thoughts that others equally carry on their mind. It's scary, but if you look hard enough, you can find exactly where Wallow was when he was on the inside. Came out with a whole bucket of pride. Got with Gilly, nothing silly, nothing of game, only flames. Light it up, inspire, rise higher and higher. Now we sitting on a podcast and we talking at last about all the things that we were supposed to be from the beginning when we were only three. And now we're here standing at 48, at 40 something and at 50, just like my boss, 50. We're going to be here for another 50 till we get to see an años for all the Latin brothers and sisters. I'm almost there, still climbing my mountain, still giving you care. And I don't really care what you think or what you care. All I know is I'm going to always be right the f here. Mm. That was deep. You want yeah. me to drop something? Yeah, I do. Ooh. I'm deep. I'm deeper than deep than deep, deep, deep. <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on, you got to stay with it. You got to stay with it. You got to stay with it. You can't, chill, break, you can't, break, you can't break character. Chill, you fucking might join it. You got to stay with it. I'm a poet right you gotta now. You got to stay with it. I used to be with black ice. I freestyle, so I want him to go eat. I'm ready to freestyle. Come on, come on. I'm deep. Yeah. Deeper than deep, 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 deep. Prison cell. Hell. I hear yell. CO! Help me. What do you want? My innocence. Apparently do I know? <laughs> they took your innocence. You messing up my poetry, man. Come on, man. You messing up my shit. He took your I'm getting deep right now, man. Come he on. screamed for a CEO and huh? said, what you want? I want my innocence. I'm just doing some deep poetry. No, I'm, right I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Deeper than deep, 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 deep. <laughs> in, the, in the big bag. Yo, come on, man. <laughs> come on, man. You fuck my shit up, man. <laughs> Go get it, bro. Yo, you messing my joy up, man. I'm, I'm, I'm getting deep right now. <laughs> Look. No. You know what you should do? Look, Look let me give No, Gilly, Gilly, Gilly. Come here for a minute. Gilly, come here for a minute. Come here. Let me give one. No, 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 no. Let Wallow sit center stage. It changes things. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. It changes things. Okay, you, sit you always got to, you can change this thing. You got to change right, it up. Right. Let me do my thing. All right. Sweat in my eye as I cry. I knew that I will be deep one day. But shallow as Wallow, hollow, yellow, blue, green, red. <laughs> no, no, I'm trying to say. I, I, got, I, I got, got real poetry. No, I was trying to. I could give out some real poetry. Go ahead, man. Give us some poetry, man. Go get it. Go. <laughs> you cry. You cry. Sure, you cry. You cry. You crazy. Deep in the deep, 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 deep. It's in the back. It's in the back. You ready? Oh, man. I'm just a n on a mission. Wait. That's a rap. No. You can't do no real <laughs> rap. You cheat. You got to get deep, brother. Right, get one with the earth. No, no, right, no. Let me finish my, let me finish my joint. No, no. I won't get it. I won't See, get it. Damn, it's not a rap. But listen. Go on. I started out a kid with a lot of ambition. On my birthday, I never got what I was wishing for. My father wasn't there. I didn't miss him, though. I didn't blame him either. It was the norm to us. I mean, none of my friends had daddies either. I was raised by Erie Avenue. We young carry burners, they a bury you. <laughs> Look, he was deep, it was deep, he was getting deep. Look, I got him. It was kind of deep. I'm trying, I'm trying to, no, you had some shit. One with the but Gilly, point. you stay with it. You asked what I'm trying to do. Gilly, 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 I was in. All right, go ahead. I was in. Wait, can you piggyback from him? Yeah, I'm gonna piggyback. Can you go from that? I'm gonna go from that. When I get free. You astronomical, it's comical. I laugh at you. As I see you betray what is tough, what is hard, but really is soft. I don't know, but it's deep. 
as I read the dictionary, my vocabulary is strong, my robust. Vernacular. My vernacular is spectacular. Mm. I'm deep. Red, black, green, red, purple, <laughs> pink. <laughs> what the f is you talking about? Y'all messing my shit up, man. Y'all messing my deep. <laughs> y'all I'm getting deep, man. Damn. Man, it's supposed to be a pay. See, y'all, see, see this, this is wrong. You told me shit in the no, middle. I like this shit. But then I don't know why the colors. I'm trying to follow the colors. Milo, I was with you. But then you said the colors and I was confused. No, but I was saying you said the colors. Dude, That's some real shit, man. We want to thank my guy. Oh, for on, coming man. through. We I had a salute ball, you, bro. You gave up a million dollars worth of game. You yes, educated a lot of people. Ball, and you gave out perspective. Yes. Because when we don't look at everybody yes. got their own perspective. Mm -hmm. And perspective is understanding of how we see it from our point of view. That's it. Um, and, and a lot of times people don't know. People people be just looking at people from, oh, this guy's dad. They look at the yeah, clip. Yeah, they don't yeah. really get the true perspective of outlook. Outlook true. is very important to say true. this is what it is. But now you're on another level. When is that movie coming out? First week, second week of January. Oh I'm coming, baby. Come on, Travis. Are you ready say, for all the press that got to come with this shit? You gonna be around the world. But this is what you signed category. up for. It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. We got Comic Con in New York in October. We had Comic Con in all the San Diego. We did San Diego. We so, got New so, York so now. What did they when they seen you? Like when people oh, see they you, they went crazy, bro. I'm yeah. playing a character named Alok, Alok Sahar. And what do you do? He runs a rogue uh, policing agent group. I guess you would call him a policing agent group and they control all of the crime on all the galaxies, including Earth. And, it, and ironically, Damn. what's great about it, what's great about it, without giving too much away, is you don't have to watch any Star Treks if you've never watched them prior to watch this one. Mm -hmm. It's a separate entity. Okay, that's it's beautiful. beautiful. It's, they first introduced it during Deep Space Nine. For Who's all else? The, all the Treks, say it again? Who's else playing with you? So it's crazy cast. So Michelle Yeoh, who won mm -hmm. the Oscar last year, mm -hmm. she's in it. Um, Sam Richardson, y'all know Sam? Yes. From Veep. Y'all yeah. should have Sam on. Yeah. yeah we do. Sam Richardson from uh, from Veep and uh, Ted Lasso. Um, Rob Kaczynski, um, Umberly Gonzalez. We got, a, we got a hell of a cast. Really dope. That's what's it's up, a dope man. cast. I can imagine Star Trek, man. That's yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're going to like it a lot. That's just... That's Thank you, bro. We appreciate you having me. I appreciate you, you, you bro. Appreciate you sharing appreciate all your being wisdom, great man. black man. Thank you, bro. You sharing your wisdom with Thanks, us, man. Yeah. Thank you, coach. That. Yes. yes. That's my yes. coach right there, guys. Listen, man. So, Amari Harwick, it's me and yes. worth a game. Mm. This was one of the longest interviews we ever did. What? Right? Yep, yeah, we, we only do an hour. How long is this? Yeah, we're like an hour, almost two hours. Almost two hours. This is the longest interview we ever did, and it's just like that. Right.